Hi guys, it's Ivy from Homeschool on the Range. These are some songs and chants that we came up with when my son was really struggling to retain his multiplication facts. Um, he is in eighth grade now and you will still see him occasionally under the table using his fingers to sing the songs. And it made such a huge difference in his retention and his ability to progress through the basic math skills. So everyone knows how to do the two song. And if you're not sure about that, there is a doubles wrap, um, two, four, six, eight, ten. So let's start with three. Now this song we kind of took from Schoolhouse Rock, so you may recognize it. And it's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna do each of these songs once. Feel free to back up and watch the video again. It is three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now, four, six, and eight are more of a chant. So for four, we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Now I know my fours. I was wrong, four was the song, it's five was the chant. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. If you follow along, that comes with a meter that makes it pretty easy to retain. Your sixth song, again, is a chant. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Now, six and eight were two of the hardest ones for my son to retain. They were, they were probably the last ones that he memorized. So I'm going to go through six and eight a second time. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. For 7, I think you're going to recognize this tune. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70. For number eight, it's a chant. I'll go over it twice. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. You'll notice that six and eight are actually quite similar. We had difficulty coming up with chants for these. Um, and they were the last two. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. I will say as a parent though, once your student gets into the groove and starts using the fingers to kind of count off, especially there at the beginning, um, they'll easily distinguish between these two songs. Then we have the nine song. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Again, you can play these over and over again. So parents, I actually made this video not for your students to watch repeatedly. You can find videos like that on YouTube. I, I made them so that you yourself as the parent can learn these songs and chants and practice them with your student. Um, homeschooling is a journey and it's a journey between parent and child. It's not just for the child to sit in front of a video. I know it's been difficult this last year for us and, and many of us, myself included, are doing a little bit of video schooling. Um, but this is a way that you can, can work with your child uh, 30 seconds a day, working on one of these chants makes a big difference, and it helps you to enjoy the journey. Have a great day and a great homeschool.